Is this a telescope that's going to be used for things like volcanoes in the solar system, or is it going to be used for galaxies far away? What's the who really wants to use interferometry the most? Everyone, really, every, because everyone, you know, whenever you're looking at something, there's always this frustration in astronomy. If only I could see this a bit more clearly. And so whatever it is, whether you're looking at the, the nucleus of a galaxy to figure out what's going on in the black hole there, whether you're looking at an interacting pair of stars in a binary system, um, whether you're looking at planets in the solar system, always you want that extra resolution. So being able to use these kind of techniques will always take you to that next level in astronomy. People who are familiar with telescopes, even people who aren't familiar with telescopes, know things like Hubble. They know about this one coming called James Webb, these space telescopes. Now we see things like this and we have ALMA and we have other interferometers being built around the place. Where's it at? Wh which one should I be excited about? What's going to unlock the most secrets? I guess the, the, it's still an open question at this point. It really is. You know, it's a big competition in some sense that everyone's trying to build the instrument that, that really ha answers the killer questions. Um, and they all have complementary strengths. For example, the, one of the things about the James Webb Space Telescope is it can actually image at wavelengths that don't get through the atmosphere at all. Uh, whereas obviously a, a telescope like this is only restricted to those windows where the light actually gets through the atmosphere. So they tend to be fairly complementary in terms of what they can do. But which ones are going to make the massive breakthroughs? We just have to wait and see. If I gave you a big whack of money, or if Bill Gates gave you a big whack of money and said it's purely your choice, Mike, do you want to build a space telescope or a huge array of these things, what would you spend the money on? I'd put it on the ground just because, well, a couple of reasons, because it's so expensive to put stuff into space that actually you could invest a lot of that money uh, to, to get a lot more in some sense for your, for your pound, your dollar on the ground um, than you can when you're putting it into space because so much of the money goes into the space related side of things. And the other issue is when something doesn't work, like the, you know, perish the thought, if the James Webb Space Telescope doesn't work, that's it, there's nothing you can do about it. When something breaks, that's it. It's, you, we can't send astronauts up to fix it. If we could, it would be incredibly expensive, but actually it's in an orbit where we can't get to it. Something like this, if it doesn't work, you just take a spanner to it because it's there on the ground next to you. There it is, the whole building turns. Beeping like a reversing truck. 